Let's go back to where we were earlier slightly, slightly different as well. We were talking a little bit about uh, investing. We were talking about for sale by owners. Where do people go when it comes to, I mean, there's fees, there's like how do people make decisions? There's different commissions out there. like Between what? agents? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that it's a, it's such a good question. So I wrote a book a couple of years ago called The Five Lies That Will Ruin Your Real Estate Career. It was written for real estate agents, um, but it talks to them about how to differentiate, how to be different from all the other agents, right? One of the chapters is called The Best Marketer Wins, right? And I was very honest with agents in that chapter about the fact that Agents often think the best agent wins, meaning the most skilled agent, the best negotiator, the best communicator, the one who understands process and contracts and all those things best. The reality is that's not true. Typically speaking, the best marketer wins. What I propose in that chapter is let's be both. Let's, let's be great at what we do and also great at communicating it so we can alleviate this stress for the consumer, right? Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, you know, hypothetical, are sitting in their home, maybe listening to this show thinking, we want to sell, but I have no idea who the right person to help us is. There's the guy down the street that has the really, really good looking signs. There's the lady around the corner that our neighbors have said is really, really sweet. There's the company we heard on the radio, the people we saw on television. I keep getting the ad on the internet and they each say something that looks or sounds good. So how do I choose? Well, I think it would be wise to investigate a little bit further. I would certainly ask some key questions like, what's your track record? You know, what, what are your results like? If a real estate agent can't tell you what their track record is, I would say they're probably not terribly serious about their business. Doesn't mean they're a bad person, but if you run a real business in a serial business, you should track your results. That's just part of being an adult who runs a real business. If you say, what is your process? What is your plan? How would you approach my property uniquely? And somebody says, well, this is what we do on every property. That would be alarming to me. One size does not fit all on t-shirts or property marketing. That just, that's illogical. But many people have been lulled into a sense of normality where that's what's normal. When we train agents around the country, and I'm letting everybody behind the curtain here a little bit because I think it's good for the consumer to know. We talk about um, how you differentiate from other agents, but that has to be tied to how you add value to the consumer, right? Mm -hmm. So there's gimmicky, hypey things like I'm different because I have a PhD. That's not a bad thing, but it might not make any difference whatsoever right. to the consumer. I'm different because I'm really tall. I'm different because I'm left-handed or I play golf. There's nothing wrong with those things inherently if they get people's attention, but is that at all, is it all backed up by a benefit to the consumer? What's in it for the seller? What's in it for the buyer? Where does it put more money in their pocket, less stress, more access to property, uh, less time. Uh, you do things that normally they would have to do. You take the burden off of them. Um, what as a, as a seller, as a consumer, investigate those things. If someone doesn't have a unique, what I call proprietary process, right? We've over the years of being in the business, we've created this so that it would work for you. If they basically admit I've been doing this for a long time and it'll work out, they're just kind of saying, I will wing it, but it'll go well for you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. That's what we call a red flag, right? It's a red flag. And look, here's the deal. It doesn't mean that agent's not really good, but what it means is it's different every time. Yep. So when we train agents, we talk about this problem called commoditization, right? A commodity uh, is corn, right? Corn sells at a certain price pretty much everywhere. Copper is a commodity. Right now, oil and gas uh, is going through crazy price fluctuation, right? It's, it, the, the cost of a barrel of oil has gone through the roof due to geopolitical things. But Oil is a commodity. People say, "What are where are oil prices today? Because pretty much across the world, everyone's paying the same price for the same product because the product is basically the same. Yeah. Now, that's not true for a house. And it's certainly not true for professional services. And when you hire an agent, you're going to get a wildly different variety of professional services. A brand new agent that's never done anything does not bring you the same value 
as a 40 year veteran who's got a great track record of results. But here's the deal. A brand new agent who's deeply diving into education, training, tools, resources, investing in technology, staff, support might be wildly better for you than someone who just had a license for 40 years. So it's not always as obvious as experience. It's not always as obvious as solo agent versus team. You got to check that out. You got to ask some good questions. You got to find out what their track record is. You got to find out, um, can they guarantee their results? You got to find out uh, what tools and resources go into creating those results. You got to find out um, what the what the investment is versus the return. Cheaper is rarely better, but you know, paying more just for the sake of paying more isn't wise either. So, you know, obviously I would throw our hat in the ring here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team anywhere in North Texas, and we can help you find an agent anywhere in North America. We refer people to Florida, California, New Orleans all the time. And oftentimes it's, we're able to introduce you to an agent that we coach and we train that value what we value and operate similarly to us. But even if it's an area where we don't have someone that we train, we can help you investigate, interview, and find the right person.